Hi, I'm Gwen Campbell at Sunbay Realty Group at Keller Williams Realty. I'm here with Brian P. Forrester at Van Dyke Mortgage. Brian has been helping us understand the loan approval process in the process of purchasing your new home. Brian, you've brought us through the pre-approval process. You've taken us through the conditional loan approval. What comes next? So a conditional loan approval, we're going to go back to the bar and ask for a few documents and items as well as the homeowner's insurance to clear up all those loan conditions. So we take all that data, send it to the, the underwriter. They're going to give us the final loan approval. Once we have final loan approval, we're going to take it and send the file to the compliance department to ensure all the disclosures, everything was dated and signed correctly. Once that's finalized, it will be sent to our closing department. Now it's their job to create the closing package and send that to the title company. And that package will be all the documents that the borrower has to sign at closing, as well as the final set of numbers that the title company will work up so that we'll know the final amount the borrower has to send a title for closing to purchase the house. Okay, Brian, thank you for all of that. Through all of your years of processing loans and uh, helping people get loans for their new home, what would you say are the important parts to make this process go easy for the borrower? Well, it all hinges on the pre-approval process. I think the more work we can get done up front, the easier it will be when we get to underwriting. Because at some point, they're going to have to look at those documents. And the more we handle up front, the much smoother it will go. So then we'll be able to go to closing. We'll be able to turn over the, the keys to your new home. Absolutely. And we thank you so much for explaining this process to us. Thank you. Thank you.